It was an emotional day in New London Superior Court on Wednesday, as Idris Alahi was sentenced for his role in the October 2010 murder of Matthew Chu. This offense, this murder, uh, has uh, had a tremendous effect on the city of New London, and not just the loss of Matthew Chu, which I want his family to speak about, but also the, the way it affected people who live, work, and, uh, and come and visit the city. Uh, talk about people who are afraid now to come to the city of New London. Alahi watched a slideshow of images from Chu's life before Chu's parents addressed Judge Patrick J. Clifford. I think about Matt every day and every hour. I walk through my days and most people don't see the pain I'm going through because that's what I'm supposed to do, pick up the pieces and move forward. But the pain is so unbearable, I cry to myself so much, and I miss Matt so much. I should start by stating that Matthew's family has been given a life sentence. There is no release date or parole board that can review the circumstances of our lives and decide that we've paid our price and grieved enough thereby allowing Matthew to return to us. Elahi, who chose not to make a statement, then listened as his parents said their thoughts and prayers were with the Chu family. But you have to know that you're not alone in this. You're not alone. Please, just please forgive him and all the rest of them young men. Thank you. Can I hug my son, please? No, I can't. I love you, Idris, and I'm always going to be here for you. I would just like to ask both parties in this event that we don't allow ourselves to be crippled, we don't allow ourselves to be paralyzed, and we don't allow to have the loss of our humanity. This is an especially senseless, tragic attack on an innocent victim. Before me is a 19-year-old defendant who's getting 35 years in prison. Mother and father seem like very nice people. They are devastated. Victim's family, devastated, destroyed. That's the tragedy in all of this. Judge Clifford sentenced Alahi, the first of six defendants in the case, to 35 years in prison. I find this to be a particularly uncivilized, savage, and sadistic homicide. And I think there's a certain level of, of, of depravity that, that borders on barbaric. If you're going to go out and make a choice, you have to be accountable for it. You have to pay for the consequences. Matt's paid the rest of his life. We paid for our life. He paid with his life. We paid for the rest of our life. And 35 years doesn't seem enough.